Alright, continuing on down the uh, line here. Looks like we had a Tethys Dregs here run, which is just always very fun. Looks like Opal got a very high score. Tigrex also got a pretty decent score. I'm guessing one turtle. Or Honored. Honored de Canelp. It's probably the submitter. So let's give it a shot here. Okay, I mean, we don't like that card. Um, this one's alright. This one's great. First two bosses are annoying. I mean, this, this Daedalus just represents things to, uh, you know, Tethys. Uh, I feel like Tethys is artifact first type champ, right? Let's see. I don't know that it necessarily gives us any direction. I guess what it does do is... I think these ice tornadoes pretty good. Early. They're still horrible late. Um, Melting Spout. I guess if there's any time to take Melting Spout, it'd be right now. The only thing it really does is get me a natural burnout. I'd be more inclined to do that if I saw a stealth tomb in my starter deck here. And we have to go to the steel, most likely, unless there's a good unit. Even then, we probably still want to hit the steel up. Only one Stygian unit. Hmm. Very sparse of banners, this run is. Uh, yeah, I'll just take a Titan's Claw. I, I really don't respect that uh, tomb artifact. It's just so weak. Well, let's check this out. We probably can't. Well, I don't know. We do have ice tornadoes and entombed explosives, like maybe I can take the horde. Probably just take chill win. I don't I, even with this setup, I just I don't I don't know if I'll ever take conduit ring one again. Unless I just see like stigeon, stigeon like just a ton of stigeons on the map. I think that might make me able to take this divine horde. Uh, probably just going to be guild marker. There's not like a whole lot of good steals. The last two steals are good, but it's just that steal and maybe this steal if I don't have a unit by then. But if I do have a unit by then, I'd probably rather go there. The map honestly isn't very good. Um, like the Hellvent. The Hellvents and Banner here. So I have to give up a Horde. If I have to go here, I have to give up a Vortex. Uh, if I want this Hellvent, i got to give up Vortex and a Caverns. And then it's like Vortex and Caverns with the Trinkets. Hopefully you got gold by then. Maybe you will. Yeah, I don't know. Just complaining, I guess. It's the makings of Cursed Seed is when the map sucks. Oh, great. Well. How low would we have to roll to not be able to take this trial? Two dead weights. That's a given. I don't think there's any world where I could actually not be able to handle this. Yeah, it's just mathematically impossible. for that. I could survive with one damage if I just tornado the top. Actually, I could just use the drag to jump block. Fuck. 
How did that go so wrong? It didn't. It, I killed nothing. That was the absolute worst it could have done. Nothing did it do that it has like. Oh my god. Um. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do this so I can hit this up. Like, I really don't know. I should have done this. Put that down first. I could still do it. Man, these guys are just invulnerable, apparently. I should wait. Basically, we want we want a fresh steward for that. Do that again. Alright, we draw that, so that's good. Eat up a life steal. Play it for zero. Nice. We get through it. John Pruitt. Is our likelihood that we even get like an incant deck together with one stitch and we've already missed on one unit draft it's not that likely most likely we should be trying to move toward a, a remnant line and just saying fuck it to uh to this i mean even with an incant line we say fuck it to tethys unless we end up with conduit later maybe i want offering token opens up crypt builder Opens up an incant line, kinda. No downside. It's not like the other cards are that good. Yeah, I'll do it. Hmm. So. The remnant lines would typically be burnout extension or harvest. If I take one of these, I could open up Burnout Extension. I could also just open up Offensive Scaling with the Wicklash, which is probably what I should do. The only problem there is... Well, we'll definitely have to hit this magic, I think. We'll have to just try to get a unit here. Hopefully here, here. If I don't hit Holdover on Wicklash, I might have to skip this and hunt for... I, I, I'm definitely like... I'm just trying to think, if I don't get Incant, if I don't get, like, the good Remnant units, I need Holdover Wicklash. Like, if I'm not getting Incant, hopefully I get a Sweeper. And I can make a Sweeper work with Holdover Wicklash. Especially in the Temper, that might just be the best thing I can do. Definitely want to find Quick on it. I'd have to wait till here to find it, probably. But, yeah, I think Wicklash gives us the highest chance of... Just doing something. There's no way I can go left without any without any beef. That's, that's what happens when you have a four health fucking champion. Endless. Endless burnout armor incant. Thirty power purge. Ugh. I think uh, Lady of the House is risky with just a single Wicklash. I could add Endless to it. I'd rather probably just add Endless to one of these tombs. Could also self-infuse it, but that's quite a lot of shards to dedicate. I would I would have to know I'm getting a Waxer Snuffer for that to make sense, I feel. But as it stands, these units just aren't really bad for me. I could do Endless on Lady of the House, though, just to get me through the current part of the game. I 
It might not be the worst plan in the world. It's, it's a little unconventional, but we'll give it a shot. I don't know if I should leave, like, I'm just trying to think of, like, things I could do. Like, I could do, let's say I get a Silophyte, but I can never get Wicklash to work. Then I at least have a line there where I'm just endlessly getting that tank. It's almost like a bad frost, endless Frost Shark back in the day when you'd actually play it on your floor. Um, on the bottom floor, nonetheless. I could also, if I say I don't have Insilphite either, maybe I can get Sweeper Tethys, and then that might actually work. And Tethys could actually do something for me. I don't think I should spend any more gold, even though that is a good upgrade. I just don't think anything here is worth it. Definitely taking a unit draft. Not even gonna consider not taking that. So I think we can go bottom floor here for this fight. I mean, it, it was Sweeper Boss, right? So the nice thing about Sweeper Boss is your champ literally is not allowed to do anything in that fight. So that's pretty sick. I love that aspect of Tethys. It's one of my, my favorite fucking things about her. Probably should have just put this up there, but I feel like I need this to beat the boss. So here we are. 18 damage, yay. Try to draw into that exactly. Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, I'm just like straight up killing this though, so that's fine. Sure. Oh, it's not sweeper boss. Either way, either way. Like I said, I got. I guess I was allowed to get one hit in. <laughs> Two technically, but it doesn't apply the frostbite on the second hit. Mollusk mage. This is all predicating on getting a silophyte, uh, huh? Or spell weakness tethers. Might just still be better to get a better spell, huh? Currently don't have consistent backline. Like maybe flash freeze is good. We're gonna find out a lot with what the units. We're getting a unit now. Let's take flash freeze backline clear. Okay, one more wicklash or dripfall. Dripfall would be better into this. Really all of these, but Wicklash would just give me a better game plan overall. I think I'll take the Wicklash. Oh my. What the fuck? I've never actually used the Bounty Stacker Essence, but I am wondering, like, I... I have Endless here. It's not going to die that much, though. Still. That's a siren, though. I mean, I don't typically like to go incant here, but that is a siren. We have, so we know it, we, we, uh, we don't have any reform. We, we might get it later, but... Like, the Bounty Stalker will suck right now. I'd have to, like, probably go here... Hit endless and burn out one because we also know we're not getting a draft. And even then, it's like it's gonna take a while. I actually don't think we take the bounty stalker here. I'm kind of leaning toward the siren. Seems weird because this is like one of the most broken units in the game, but 
There's not really any unit that just 100% of the time always needs to get picked, right? Even Apex Imp, I'll skip it if a deck doesn't need it or have it make sense. It's a rough incant line. It's mainly units in this deck. The Wicklashes are questionable at best. Hmm. I think I'm going to still try for the Siren, though. I have to hit on Hallowed Halls. Because even the, like, a later, like, Wickless recruitment. Um, I, unless I find it literally right there. I'm very unlikely to have it come back consistent enough for me to actually scale this thing out. So it's either that or I find the Endless and Burnout one. Which is actually a lot to ask, to be honest. Especially when this Merchant of Steel's early aren't good. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to take the Siren of the Sea. Either way, I wonder if just going left here is going to end up making more sense. Because Siren still kind of need. It's weird, I actually kind of wish that we get, got a Sweeper. I could still take one if there's one here, I guess. I could do sweeper. I could do the siren into the sweeper. It's not great though. The the one one is like not very good. It's the same problem with like keeper of echoes. All right, check this. It is a sweeper. It's not a silophyte. Sure would benefit quite a lot from Wicklash though. Hmm. Could also just go Lady into that, you know. Fifteen thirty is fine stats. It's like a large stone without quite as much health, but then I start with Burnout Three. Still are worlds where I don't draw Wicklash in time though, even if I held on the Wicklash right here. With three Wicklashes, I'm still still a little iffy on uh, using them on anything other than this lady right now. Hmm. We'll do this, we don't have to make an infusion right now, or there, so we'll have time to, to see where this deck is headed. Oh, okay. Well, fuck. <sighs> Makes me not want to use this now. That makes me just want to make a floor of a bunch of sirens. Even if they end up single striking, I can t if I can get a hold over on this and some damage, which I don't know. Maybe we can get. Well, yeah, we've got quite a lot of temples here. I also might end up wanting half. Could hell vent a vanilla one of these. Like that's okay. I don't know. Wicklash. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm gonna duplicate this. possible I want to take this money. I could have some good money going into either one of these. I'm going to take it. I think my deck is pretty strong right now. For early game, it 
it won't be strong for long. Do we care about Tethys in this fight? I'm not entirely sure that we do. Let's see what this yields. I might try to redraw into that. So it doesn't really matter where we put this stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, just another one of the great things about Tethys. What a good champ. I'm glad we hell ended the Wingmaker. Put you mid, I guess. Just gonna have to have Lady of the House carry this fight. Hey, look what we finally fucking got. Be able to finish off top. sucks. She doesn't do anything other than be a sweeper, but like her actual utility is absolutely useless. Look how little frostbite we end up with here, you know? Don't think we need more AoE. This could be okay to finish off some stuff. Maybe get a top floor setup going. Hmm. I don't think we need AoE. Wickless Baron could actually make sense. Like Baron into the Siren? Because at least the Baron's essence is closer to being serviceable than the Siren's essence. I think it makes sense. Just need draw. Deck is fat. I've got so many banner units. I think I'd rather just find holdover right now. If I can. If it's a, faced with holdover or multi strike, I'd rather have holdover, but the merchant of magics just have more stuff. Boom, look at that holdover. Okay. Do I just settle for this? I mean the likelihood that I would get Pierce or 30 is so high by the end of this. And I don't need the 10 right now. I, th I think I would just put the 10 on the other one. I'm totally taking half if it comes around, by the way. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Get that down, I guess. Double stack. One of the, actually one of the best cards to double stack, honestly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We gotta get rid of some banners, maybe. Keep that right now. We need it to win, but out of cold Kalia, do we need that? I've got this on holdover. I don't think we need a cold Kalia. Siren with Baron is the game plan. And then we need that for right now. Um, we could still have issues with Stealth Boss if I don't have the stewards, perhaps. 
Nah, I've got the dregs. Let's get rid of the stewards. I mean, they're alright. Oh, shit. These are all amazing. Well, drop cage. Eh, drop cage technically works with Siren Song, but this is already probably finishing stuff off in the context. It'll probably have a pretty good hammer hitting things quite often. Waxer Snuffer is decent for the Entombed Explosive. Opens up. I would probably, you know, have Endless there. Could just take Seaweed, though. I mean... The likelihood that Waxer Snuffer can do much is pretty low, actually. I think, I think the Seaweed's just better here. Yep. Conduit makes sense now. Kinda does. I mean, it's like an incant deck, kinda. Yeah, that works for me. Spikes. What the fuck? Um. If I can get my hammers in time. I mean, Tethys definitely dies. With Tethys dying, I don't know that I can beat the boss. Like... I have no scaling whatsoever. Well, I do, but it's like vanilla units. Hey. We're gonna try to set up top if we can here. Mm. I don't think I want that thing to... Like, I want to actually get the harvest up top. And I want to get that. Problem is... 6 out of 19. Unlikely to draw Wingmaker next turn. Could at least do this to get some more space here. I could put that in for a buffer. Get an incant out of it. Get another incant. I, I do want to try to get these harvests, probably. If anything. Set our bets here. I don't want that thing. Hmm. I suppose it's more important that I don't take the hit. I get more. I, I want tank stats out of this guy. So we'll just do this. Alright, we got this finally. Do we want that to die? Actually doesn't oh it does kill one of them, okay. Alright, I guess we're putting her up top. Really don't want to take this damage if I don't have to. Suppose we can do this. I 
Alright, it better fucking give me half already. Like, where the fuck is this unit? I've killed thousands of motherfuckers with the hammer. Uh, this is like... I still don't have a plan for keeping Tethys alive other than getting lucky with the Siren Song. But this isn't going to do the trick. And if I get another, let's say I do get another holdover. Which honestly, I don't know if I'm going to go here. I might just want another one of these hammers if I can get a, a good bit of damage here. Finding the hammer is pretty essential to my whole game plan right now. Dude, would this be a glacial seal run? So, I actually think I'm just going to put the Siren and Baron together and Helvin them right now. Eh. I probably want to do that after I've searched for upgrades. I don't know. Merchant of Magic, Vortex, Caverns. And I use money maybe when I could just be using them here. I think we got to go to Helvin. I don't know how any of that really affects this decision. Probably doesn't. Let's just skip here. Okay, then there's something I could work with. Now I'm back to wanting to go to the uh, Merchant of Magic. Because if I could intrinsic that, then I can probably either double stack or hold it over. I would definitely be down to hold it over, I think. I think I'm rarely going to skip half from now on. I think it's actually just a good unit to have. In fact... Could just put half into the Siren, maybe? Or the Baron, even. It's a pretty big unit. I think half as a unit is actually just better. Frost. Interesting. I think 30 here is better, right? Than piercing. Because it hits twice. The only the only time it's not better is against a spell shield trial, which I can just skip. But for divinity, this is definitely better. That's what we're worried about. Would I still do that? Is that even worth it? It feels worth it. Alright, we're... Definitely in Shardville territory here. I just can't help myself. I, I really can't ever help myself. These so Wicklashes just need to go, probably. Probably the lady can go. The lady of the house can probably go. Um... Actually, spend money on any of that. Go do ten there, I guess. Double stack. Okay, I guess we're double stacking this. Um, if I can find an intrinsic, let's just get rid of these. All right, if it's stealth boss, I think I got him covered. Mm, probably have this guy covered. I don't think the armor matters here. I've got 30 damage holdover card. Shit. 
Well, we don't. We, we don't have to go bottom. Yeah, we can just keep it on hold over. Yeah, you can go down there. I've been missing out on some harvest too by probably not playing these things up here. Look at that. That's pretty good. But I don't really care too much about the harvests enough to like cycle back through a steward or anything like that. I would do this though. I might actually want to do, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I might want to do this. I'm um, just like guarantee I get it at three burnout to put in front. I suppose this probably just wins us the fight though, huh? some of that. Um, preserve on engulfed in smoke is not a horrible idea. This frenzied swarm is probably something I need to get rid of. It's actually like, kind of unplayable in this deck. Close recruitment any good? If I want to keep the lady of the house, I guess. Which I'm not convinced. I may have to keep it all the way till here. I mean, I only have this single unit. Could just have that for harvest. Could get me around Ember Drain every now and then. I don't know what it does. It could get some sap off of me, which actually might be good for uh, Tethys. If I get sap too much, I can't attack. Right now, I will say the Chillwind is pretty important for my ability to uh, to do shit into Relentless. I could miss here if I don't get Multi Strike, so. Let's just keep trying to guarantee we add value to our deck. There's multi-strike. Don't think it's worth it though. Is there any other infusions I actually want to make? Not really. Um, I still think I keep the lady though. Eh, do I? She's not doing much. I think the engulfed in smoke Getting hit by preserved is what we want to do. Get rid of the stewards, I guess. We're gonna have a wide floor with not a whole lot to put on it. I could do a vapor funnel. I could do a lightstone casing, maybe more so. Man, where is intrinsic? You know what, though? I don't know, Lightstone Casing looks pretty good to me with the deck I have going on here. Let's check this first. I had a feeling it would be Nexus Spike, honestly. So 
so I will remember now that they don't affect the boss. Too bad I don't have my Wicklashes still. I could technically probably still use this to remove debux, <laughs> debuffs from, uh... Oh, it's only debuffs. Never mind. Um... I could permafrost... a... stealth. Seems okay, right? So I was thinking, like, I could do this. So we're probably not going to Hellvent the Wingmaker, I guess, because I only have the one Hellvent left. And... My Hellvent probably should go on this unit, maybe. Although, if I don't get Multi-Strike, maybe not. Maybe maybe I would still just Hellvent that. Either way, I guess it's fine if I pierce this and 30 the other one. I'm definitely going to Shardville here, but whatever. I don't have much money going into that. Well, let's see. We're only looking for multi-strike, but I would I would like some initial health too, I guess. Okay. I'll at least get some immediate value out of it. I'll just put this down here. Silence. Silence hasn't really hit on anything important yet. One for three so far, buddy. Oh, that's definitely powerful. Right there. trying to draw through and actually find the other hammer. Not doing a great job at it. God, this fucking silence thing sucks. Okay, at least that hit. We got a hit of chillin' under the boss. Gotta find that fucking thing. Okay, we found it. I'm gonna try to keep that for the boss. Put some more of that on. I'm gonna hold that for relentless. Hey, silence. He actually worked. Oop. Okay, my mouse sensitivity is getting pretty fucked here. Some weird shit's going on.
still not a hundred percent confident in our ability here to to do this. Four, draw six. We want to probably try to get the spell shield off, so I'll just hold that. Not drawing that at the right time is definitely a little bit devastating. Looks like that'll do it. But just barely. It's not a good sign. The mix. So we'll want another point of chill in for sure. Unless we get an ancient synergy right now. Which we don't. Gifts we probably don't want to do. It's very important that I don't have those dying on us. Um, another wickless recruitment seems pointless. We just skip here. One thing that... <laughs> I think if I intrinsic, I guess it just goes um, here. Because I don't think I want to take an Ember upgrade. I, I, I do definitely want to take a draw upgrade, but... Like this is three cost. Yeah. I, I could see arguments for either route here. This is still kind of... I, I have a lot of removal still to make, though. So, I think the Vortex makes sense. And a chance at multi-strike. Spell chain. We do have an intrinsic, so that's good. Alright, multi-strike. We're cooking. This unit does the one that scales, so we're just going to do that. I could start with initial health, but this is just better. Might be better there, actually. And this guy's already getting... Yeah, I think this is actually a smarter play. I would like half to stay alive if possible. That was an incredible uh, merchant. So... Intrinsic here, actually. And that's what we want to do, right? Thank God for lightstone casing. And we've gone to Shardville quite enough already, I think. Make one cheap removal here. Get rid of a drag. Chill in. So, ideally, Tethys will be a part of our game plan. This is not who we want to see. The armor shouldn't matter, though. And. Everything hinges on finding the right cards. Trying both them at the start certainly is not a good start. Oh, that is what it is. We're just going to deal with it. Um, we're just going to work with this for now. This is really bad. Should do that. We want to. We want to draw through. Right. That's what we want to do. Damn. Thirteen eight. Doesn't kill that. Could do that. I'd rather just do this.
I need to not die. Oh, Sigil Seaweed, you finally decided to do something. Sigil Seaweed has been fucking horrible on this run, by the way. Uh, I fucked that up, but whatever. We're fine. Now that we have the hammers, we're good. But if they were, like, in the very bottom, we'd be in a pretty rough spot. Seriously though, Sigil Seaweed, can you help me out, buddy? You're doing fucking nothing. This is like the only the, the single purifier that was hit by the damn thing. Ridiculous. Draw back into half this turn. Took seven years. Might as well play this and that. It's five damage to the pyre, but I guess I could do the math here, so she's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I need this. Math has been performed, turns out I need it. Could have thrown that away there though. I should have done that. I actually could have just thrown the damn scourge away, but you know me. I don't do smart things. Um, one more preserve is like, okay. It has the synergy with the Titan's Claws as well for these more expensive cards. But, I don't know. I, I really just want to find the hammer ASAP. That's not strong enough. I think with the Siren Song, this is a bit redundant. It seems weird, but I don't think I'm going to take this either. Maybe I should have for the mini-boss, though. I should have done it for the mini-boss. Oh, well. Fuck it. Um... Is a hammer more important than another one of the units? I wouldn't be opposed to this. I think we already saw Pyrestone housing on this run, right? Damn, I actually should have. Just left that damn slot open for intrinsic. God damn it! How fucked am I if I if I bottom deck hammer? Would I just be better off with two hammers? Cost the same amount to to do the unit. more important. We may as well go to 150, by the way. Like, that's all right to do there, I think. All right. Um, 
As far as this goes, I don't think I need it. I don't think it's 100% necessary. Like, Hef isn't that needed if I draw both at the start. I'd rather just remove shitloads of cards. Yep. This is all removals then. So let's get rid of... I really don't need Ice Tornado anymore. It's been okay. I guess it is okay because I don't... I can just have it sit in hand. I can tell you Frozen Lance isn't that good. At least these I can play out. So maybe Frozen Lance is just off the docket here. It really doesn't do anything for me. Okay. That is all she wrote. A double draw, 25 card deck. One of the cards cycles itself. I think we're going to be okay. Harvesters, but I think uh, why, why doesn't it just give the cheater's hand thing where I can check down and see if they're fucking silenced or not? Well, I guess I'll find out. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh fuck you too, game. Sigil seaweed, you do not get the MVP here. Not once so fucking ever. Pretty much always want to play that stealth thing. Oops. Well, that happened. Worth Ember draining here? Sure. So I want harvests. Though my harvest synergy really is nothing. Can I actually stack days in the boss, you think? If I preserve it, will it stay preserved when I redraw it? Ah, oh, damn it. Should have played that. Well, oh, whatever. Mistakes were made. It cost me two, two worth of stats. Actually, just having that thing go away. I guess I can get rid of this. I think we'll be fine this fight. By the way, it is wild to me when I see people that don't take this, uh, this, the, uh, I guess we don't really need Preserve in this deck. Um, now that I got the thing down to one, but yeah, it's wild to me that people take, like, the minus one pip plus ten over the hammer. There's rare cases where I would do that, but some people it's like their go-to and it just blows my mind. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how that is the best. Um, it's, it's just, yeah, this, this frickin' thing is so bustedly powerful. <laughs> Imagine if I was actually using this space too, you know.
pretty good amount of frostbite we got. Sure, why not? Now, now, no mini bosses, no, no question at all. Now, we can just leak them, and we're fine. Um, we're doing this. I can actually just preserve that. Okay. It's like, if you don't give me one of my three fucking hammers here, I will actually murder you, you dumb game. Still days till the kingdom come here. Do that. I could have put that down first and done that, but I didn't. But I didn't. Alright, we got the crew here now. Let it rain. Let it rain. I'm not gonna... Well, I could ex... Yeah, I was gonna say, I could accidentally just draw into that thing and be fine. Just keep that in hand so I can draw the stealth more often. Draw seven a turn, it's fine. You lived. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, it actually silenced that guy. Nice. How amazing. I guess we can spam these here. Just try to get this guy a kill. We almost had him. Probably didn't want that to be uh, permafrosted, though. I don't think I played a Frenzied Swarm, what, maybe once this entire game, and I had it from Ring 1. It's pretty fucking rare. It's basically... There's no reason for me to play it. I'd rather keep these in hand so I don't redraw them. Here, you can have that. Don't want four cards frozen in hand. I really messed up by freezing that dead weight, but whatever. Aha, you're dead. Can throw it away maybe? Maybe it'll Nice. Wow. Citrus seaweed, you may think that I'm not gonna well, like there's no way I'm gonna remedy your mistakes from earlier. If you don't think that this excuses them. I didn't need your help at this point. There, I'll use Frenzied Swarm. Alright, well, in true uh, these thing fashions, the hardest fights were definitely not the final ones. So yeah, I don't know, anytime you find the hammer, you probably won the run, unless you just somehow never find literally anything for it. I guess the worst possible situation is that you could only find Surge Stone and no temple upgrades, no holdover. Even then, it's... That's a lot of things that gotta go wrong, right? Yeah, and I, I, I don't know. I still am, like, curious. I, I don't think Hef necessarily did a whole lot for us this run, but 
if we needed to her if we needed her to she would if that makes sense like I found stealth and stealth just took over but like it's certainly possible in some of these other fights that I would have needed that nice buffer from Hef and you know it's just like kind of nice stats and like the, the resolve effect might be good sometimes maybe the infusion can be good sometimes like I guess it's, it's a pretty good unit especially like I looked at my data and like I don't I've never lost with Hef I'll have to check that again but it was like I never lost with Hef so I don't know and I don't think she's like Dante level or anything but pretty good unit I guess another thing with that though means if you have Hef that means you had a hell of a nice hammer which is probably the real reason you, you won right but Let's see what Opal did. She had must have had some sort of infinite waxer snuffer. There's no Vitivery though, so full chillin. Oh yeah, she does like to do this uh, endless entomb. I guess if you start with the spout, yeah, and then with the harvest build, that's just really pretty pretty nice build to have. Self infused wickless. These are just blasting everywhere. It is pretty... It, it is interesting, though. Like, this play... Yeah, I guess you find the Waxer earlier enough that it makes sense, because I'm like... I've had a lot of runs where I do the self-infuse um, Entombed Explosive on Endless, and it just doesn't really... Like, if you don't get Waxer Snuffer, it, it doesn't really do enough, I find. But with Waxer Snuffer, it's definitely really strong. She had a lot of points. It must have just been from the high amount of shards. She did bottom floor kill like everything though it looks like. Or at least the last two fights here. Pretty smooth run though. That is a hell of a drip fall. <laughs> Offering token intrinsic. I wonder what that idea there was. Oh no, not this song. Not this song. Not this song. Let's just go back to the start. <laughs> yeah, it's a very thin deck though. It does exactly what it wants to do and it does it pretty much from turn one almost guaranteed, right? It's a very thin deck. But yeah, she has the Wingmaker as well, which is amazing, right? It's the same Wingmaker that we got. Tigrex actually got the bounty stalker to go off. Oh man, look at that hef. Jesus, this thing has a ton of damage. Jesus. Yeah, it has that early waxer snuffer. My god, these are gigantic. One burnout with the endless. Must have found that really early too, because this is like insane uh, damage numbers. Yeah, this is pretty wild. Like six turn boss rush. That is interesting. Wait, let me go back. How did I get a higher score than Tigrex? I guess that just goes to show how much short shards play into like the normal score, right? Because I didn't even get it. Uh, well, it doesn't show, but we know that I didn't get a flying kill and I top floored everything. He had a six turn boss rush on Divinity, but just, I guess, the 115 shards versus the 155. Uh, I guess. There's a few points here and there too, like, well I didn't take that trial either, hmm. yeah I don't know, that's wild, I would have thought he had a way higher score with the uh, 6 turn divinity boss rush, cause that's like, yeah, Opal had a no, no boss rush, 12,000 versus 19,000, so, I guess just shards, shards, Turns out they count for a lot of points in the normal point system. Then the original submitter. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Tigrex went with the conduit. 28 damage taken. Opal only took 2 damage. I took 1 damage. I thought I took more than 1. Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, you can just see the difference when you... 30, wow, went down to 1 HP. This is the problem with uh, Conduit 1. Now tell me, with Conduit... Is there ever a better opener than you can get than Ice Tornado? Probably not, right? Like, you're guaranteed to actually have it on the floor with Tethys when you need it. And still, it ended up being a nightmare for them. I don't know. I, I think I just... I'm adamant, like, I don't think Conduit 1 ever has a place to be picking. Like, yeah, you might get through it, but... I'd rather... I, like, I don't... I guess this is my thing with Tethys. Um... Chillwind seems more likely to do something for me on a run that I actually need Tethys to do something on a run for me. Uh, let's say I get a good incant deck together. I shouldn't need Tethys to make that work, right? If, if that were the case, then playing Stygian as a secondary, we would never make incant decks, but that's not the case, right? So, I'm like... Conduit, yeah, obviously it's really good in an incant deck, but I'd rather just pick it up as a, like a, s ideally the second um, upgrade, third sometimes, but like, if I can pick it up by the second upgrade, then I have some direction that to know that I'll build around maybe having Tethys on the floor. Even then, though, it's like you need like intrinsic days, intrinsic um, stealth, or you'd have to like go on a a middle floor, ew, icky, right? Like, I don't know. I think I just it worked out here that uh, to use Tethys and and the weird way our deck came together. Like, for most of these, I needed Chillwind Tethys on the floor to beat Relentless, really. But in a lot of runs, I would just I don't know. I don't even know where I'm even going now with this tangent, but let's. Keep could take a look at the original submitters again. So he had a horrible ring one. Um, Melting Spout must have done better than Titan's Claws, I guess. Could just be micro issues, too. Uh, only made 15 shards, which would have been the first thing. Has two Siren of the Seas. Wickless Tycoon. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily blame taking the Tycoon. I think that was either that or the Lady, right? Took the Wingmaker. I like it. Yeah, it is interesting. It's like... I'm just thinking back to this point. Like... Our decks aren't all that different, but the big thing is, like, just they have Conduit and have no Pyre Health, so have no leeway, right? And who knows, I don't, I, we were on higher shards, but maybe at 15 they still end up getting, well, no, they can't get the tank sharded up at 15, so they at least wouldn't have the tank sharded up, but either, you know, still, one little leak. One little leak is all it takes. Though maybe they... If they hellvented, they probably got... I wonder if one of those sides had fire health. They might have. Because they had to have hellvented the Siren of the Sea to get two. I remember it was one of those shitty, like... Hellvent Ring 3 type maps. Anyway, though. I, I think it just reinforces my opinion on... Tethys conduit. I just think it's. And Opal didn't even take a conduit. She did just fine, right? Full, full uh, frostbite, and she has the highest score here. Able to able to go two to forty five shards and beat this without taking damage. So, but yeah, I mean, 
who knows, Tethys probably wasn't really needed at a certain point here when you have these things going on. Right? That, these. That'll take care of finishing up any tanks. That'll take care of, like, the whole floor. Then you'll get this guy hyperscaled to kill any boss. And you can just stack days on the flying bosses. Stack some frostbite. It's, it's a good time. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.